Hello and welcome to this demonstration of TunePal for Android. TunePal is an app which provides the scores to over 16,000 tunes. So I'm going to launch up TunePal. So the opening screen for TunePal shows previously searched for tunes. Um, from the screen what you see is the tune title. You also see the tune type if it's available and you get the key signature for the tune and also the original source for the tune on the internet. Um, on this web, on this page as well, you can see that the stars. So you can actually hold down a tune, and it becomes stars. So it gets added to your favorites. So the main use for TunePal is to search for tunes. So on this screen, we just see previously searched for tunes. Um, but what we'll do is we'll actually just type in a title, and now TunePal will search through its database of uh, 16 over 16,000 tunes. Um, so if I search for, say, Dublin. Oops. So, in order to do this search, TunePal actually connects to the database uh, stored at the website tunepal.org. So, you need an internet connection to do these kinds of searches. And TunePal will download the first 100 matches. So, once we find a tune with TunePal, you can tap on the tune and it shows you the ABC score for the tune. You can play the tune. You can also hit the stave button here to retrieve the music stave for the tune and you can rotate your device to get a better view for the stave. And rotate it back again. Um, from here you can hit the CD symbol which um, retrieves the discography for that tune. And from here if I tap on any of the CDs it brings me in to do an Amazon music search. From the tune screen as well, you can also hit add to my tunes and then some extra options available become available. So number one thing that we can do is um, you can hit the little uh, world symbol here which brings you up to a number of other internet links that you can uh, search, search for the tune on the net. So for example you can hit the YouTube button and it will do a YouTube search for the title of the tune. You can also post the tune to your Facebook page by hitting the Facebook uh, Facebook symbol, or you can do an Amazon Music search as well. Um, this tune was actually downloaded from uh, Heinrich Norbeck's tune collection, so hitting on the Norbeck button there actually brings you to the source of the tune in Heinrich Norbeck's website. And also you can email the tune as well. So hit that button there and you can actually email the tune. So I'm going to go back. Um, once the tune is listed as one of your My Tunes, it also appears here under My Tunes on the My Tunes tab. And any of the tunes that you have um, listed in your My Tunes tab here can be edited. So I can hit the Edit button there, and it actually brings me in to edit the music score for this in ABC format. So, for example, you could add an alt title, or you could uh, change the index number, or change the key signature, or if you notice a mistake in the music score, you can uh, update the music score. The way this editing works, it's actually done on a bar-by-bar -bar basis. So you actually just tap on the bar you want to edit, and uh, you're actually into editing that particular bar. At this point, you can also hit edit and, e uh, and uh, edit all bars, and it actually brings you into the source for the entire tune that you can edit. You can also add additional headers for the tune, such as the parts, um, tempo, rhythm, source, etc. And once you edit the tune, uh, the stave actually updates on demand. So if I was to edit that tune and re-hit the, the stave button, I would get a view of the, the newly edited stave. One of the main uses for TunePal is to search for tunes by playing. So you can go to the record tab and what you do now is you actually play um, a 12 second extract from a tune the only constraint uh, is that the instrument should be in concert pitch so i'm actually playing on a d flute at the moment and i'm going to hit the record button and give a demonstration as to how the, the music search works <laughs> will transcribe what you've played 
and then it submits your um, transcription to the website tunepal.org for matching. And what it will do is it will find the closest match from the database of 16,000 tunes. So in this situation here, it's actually found a number of titles for this particular tune. It will give you the top 10 uh, matches, and some of them could be wrong, but generally if you get a high um, confidence score, it's the correct tune. So the top title for this is called The Boys of the 45. So you tap on that and it will download the tune, and you can then proof listen to make sure that it's the correct tune. And it is the correct tune. So then we can click Add to My Tunes. Uh, TunePal actually works really well with instruments which aren't in concert pitch as well, but you have to actually change the uh, fundamental on the preferences screen to tell TunePal that you're actually playing not on a concert pitch instrument. So to give a demonstration of that, I have a flute here which is pitched in F. So I go to the preference screen and I change the fundamental note to be F, and then I go and record my query played on an F instrument. So that tune was called The Swallow's Tail, and um, if you listen to it, it actually plays it back in the key of, um, well, it's a Dorian, but it's as if it was played on a concert pitch instrument. You can also limit your tune book to, uh, limit your search to certain tune books. So in this case, uh, what you do is you go to the preferences screen and you choose enable filtering, and then you can filter by any of the tune books that tune books uh, that TunePile has in its database. So at the moment it has over 16,000 tunes. You could, for example, filter just so that you get um, tune books from or tune matches from O'Neill's and Kjellrun and Herod and stuff like that. So some of the other options you have is uh, you've got some options for playback. So you can, for example, change the instrument that you want to use to playback tunes. So you could go for a music box. You can also change the tempo at uh, which TunePal plays back uh, tunes. So for learning, for example, you can slow the tune down. And then you can go back into My Tunes, pick any of the tunes, and when it plays back, it'll use those settings. You can also compose a new tune using TunePal. So in order to do that, you go to the My Tunes tab, you go to the menu, and hit Compose. So it brings you into, it gives you a template really for a, uh, a blank ABC file. So you can just enter a title for it. Uh, give it an index number and a key signature. Uh, it gives you just some blank um, notes to, to kind of get you started. But obviously you can edit that tune and then and then hitting the stave button will generate a stave for that. Last but not least, you can change the language so that you can get tune book, uh, tune pal in Irish. And when you do that, tune pal just needs to restart. And when it restarts, it will restart in Irish, and you get all of your um, all of your menu options, etc., in Irish. Oh, some of the other options that you have here in TunePal. Um, TunePal actually geotags all queries. So you can view a map. Um, and on the map you can see where you were when you search for various different tunes. This, of course, is dependent on you having GPS enabled on your device. Um, you can also um, uh, email the, your entire tune book to yourself. Obviously, delete all of your tune books, um, etc. And if you need help, you can just hit the help button there and you get the TunePal help page. So that concludes my demonstration of TunePal for Android.